Today, we're going to talk about aerial mends and how we can place a mend in that line, either close to us or further out. Very few times you're standing in a river and the current is uniform all the way across. Sometimes we have some slow current in front of us, faster current out by the fish, and then slow current again. Sometimes we might have varying currents and we have to be able to reposition the line above or below the fly so we don't get any drag. When that fly floats down the river, we want that fly to match the speed of the current. That's going to give you a natural drift. If we don't mend, that line could get a belly in that in the line and that belly could cause that fly to drag out of that fish uh, out of that lie if you will or out of that uh, seam so when we make our cast what we can do is we can stop a rod and draw a D or looks like a C probably from the camera angle or we can stop the rod and draw a D or C in the other direction and that's going to put a mend in that line if we do it early right after we stop that mend's going to be further out closer to that fly if we do it in the beginning or at the end of the cast, we stop and hesitate and then draw that little C or D, then that mend's going to be much closer to us. So this is how it works. I take that rod and I'm going to point it right at the camera so you can see it. After I stop the rod, I'm going to simply just draw a D or a C with the rod tip. Stop the rod, draw a D or a C in the other direction. And that can make your mend to the left or to the right. Let's see how it's done. So when we make this cast, if we just stop the rod and let that fly roll out, we get a nice straight line. What I want to do is put a curve in that line. And in this case, I'm going to put a curve to my right. That little curve is the mend. So I'm going to stop that rod and then draw, in this case, a D. And that D is going to allow some line to come out to the side. If I do it early, right after the stop, I can get that mend to go actually out towards the end, right by that leader. So I stop throw that mend, there's one in the middle, now I'm going to try and do one out towards the end. I stop, do the mend, and now it's out a little bit further. If I do it late, stop and wait, and then do that mend, now it's in much, much closer. So again, I'm stopping the rod, drawing that little D or that C, and that's going to put that mend in there for me. You can do it to the right, and you can do it to the left right there, just by adding a little C or a little D, and that's how you can throw an aerial mend. Right after we stop that rod, that's when we're going to draw that little half circle. Stop the rod, half circle, and now let's see if I can get one out pretty far. So if I make a little bit of a longer cast, remember, I have to do this right after I stop, throw it out, and now I have that mend out a little bit further. Or stop, there's it in the other direction. And again, if I want it in closer, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to let that line just about straighten out, then I can throw it in nice and close. And that's how you can throw a mend in that cast in different directions or in different, uh, different lengths. And that's an aerial mend.